Welcome back, everyone, to Self Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. On this channel, we talk about all things related to kidneys and, of course, nutrition. So today's topic is all about kidney transplants and how there are so few organs out there for people who are desperately in need of getting a kidney transplant. Now, when we talk about the availability of organs for transplant, the challenge has always been this idea of freezing organs. What ends up happening is, is when we freeze organ and we thaw organs, organs get damaged in the process. But if there was a way to freeze organs and be able to successfully thaw them later, meaning several days, weeks, or even months later, it would revolutionize the ability for us to provide organs. How so? Well, first, it would address the challenge of organ scarcity by having a pool of available organs. Then, the surgery or the transplant surgery itself, it would become elective rather than the way it is now, which is everything happens on an urgent or emergent basis and allows for very little time to actually prepare for the transplant. So if you had more time, you could better prepare the donor, you could better prepare the recipient, and you could make sure that you had enough time to do all the testing so that the match was much better and the likelihood of that organ in this case, kidneys would survive much better. And more important than that, there's a lot of inequity when it comes to access to organ transplants, specifically kidneys. And this would absolutely make the equity portion much better. It would also allow for the idea that we could do compatibility testing. We would have time for the patients to get ready fully in all sorts of manners. This concept of freezing and warming organs is not new. In fact, in 1949, Early attempts to sort of cryopreserve cells, tissues, organs were occurring. But the problem with freezing organs is the traditional methods, they result in ice crystals that end up forming between cells. And those ice crystals, when you rewarm the organ, they end up damaging the organ. So this concept of ice crystal injury is very important. Now, there's a new study that just got published in Nature Communications in 2023, in which they talk about a new method for essentially cryopreserving organs for the long run. So let's look at the details of the study. What the researchers used was a technique called snap freezing. And essentially what happens here is they use this technique where they form a glass-like material instead of those crystals that I described would actually damage the organ. This glass-like material does not damage the organ. In addition, the researchers also injected iron oxide particles into the organ before they froze it. And then they use alternating magnetic fields to warm the organ. What this really means is that each one of these iron oxide particles, these nanoparticles, they're like tiny heaters. So when you rewarm the organ, there's evenness to the warming process. And as a result of it, you get an organ that's still viable. How viable? Well, in this particular study, they froze rat kidneys for 100 days. And then they thawed the organs. They cleaned the kidneys. They implanted those kidneys into live rats. And here is the most remarkable part. All rats survived the procedure and they regained full kidney function within 30 days. In other words, this was a resounding success of taking an organ, freezing it for 100 days, being able to thaw it, transplant it, and have it function. The researchers say the next steps are to use the process in pig kidneys. And even though human trials may be away several years, this discovery is going to revolutionize the field of organ transplantation. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching this episode. As always, if you got questions, comments, I would love to hear about them. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.